What is the problem of the generation of today? Way back when, before street lights and indoor plumbing, I'm talking about those times when each day was crummy. No matter how bad the time must have seemed, they all loved one another. That's when they all seen each other as sisters and brothers. What is the problem of the generation of today? In a time where the women kept the house, why the men worked the field? Working together, they were each other's shield. No matter how hard the master made their day, their love and protection of each other would never fade. One would pick the cotton while another took the bag. Made up the difference whenever someone was ill and started to laugh. They would smile for the master while plotting their escape. Whenever one got captured, they all felt the disgrace. They all rejoiced at the Emancipation Proclamation. The day the devil returned to his damnation. What is the problem of the generation of today? With no education, they looked upon each other for help. No one refused to only think of themselves. It didn't take long for them to make their mark upon this nation. They filled every bus car in every train station. They were the backbone that was used to break ground before you knew it popped up many big cities and country towns. Their blood and sweat are what we living off of today. But you wouldn't know who they are because they all are buried in a more grave. Moving up to today, how soon we forget of all the sacrifices our ancestors had to command. They didn't endure only to survive the stormy weather. No, they endured to make the future of their children much better. What if Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. kept quiet and never spoke of his dream? He reminded us all to never forget their ancestors scream. Would we be better off if our ancestors lived a selfish way? Could it be conceivable today to be in a field on a hot sweltering day? Can you imagine your grandpa telling you you must fend for yourself, not caring if you live, die, or render any help? Or imagine your grandma on a rap video shaking her ass, or offer you a pipe filled with pot and told you to take a blast. Now does that sound like the world we live in? Yes, only if you open your eyes, my friend. If you could bring back morals and integrity, then we could start over new. Learn from our ancestors. They will tell you what you need to do. Remember those girls shaking their asses on that video will be grandma one day where they be able to look their children in the eyes with something to say. As you can see, what you do today will affect your tomorrow. Can't blame anyone but yourself or your soul. Though starting anew shouldn't be such a complication. All we have to do is to teach 
the me generation.